Hello, my name is Lala Nungalaza. Um, I'm a single mom to a 14-year-old boy. Hi, I'm Winnie Mabindler, so, and I'm a mother of three. My name is Enam Goma. I'm a mother of two to a wonderful seven-year-old boy and a one-year-old daughter. Um, I work from home. I run a business um, and in currently looking at adding to my business portfolio. Um, yeah, that's me. Um, my name is Cindy. I'm 28 years old. I stay in Nyanga in Cape Town. Um, I'm a community developer, um, I'm a model, I do a whole lot of other projects on the side, yeah. I love, I'm a humanitarian, philanthropist, and then what else? Yeah, that's basically about me. I have a two-year-old, her name is Ndima. Hi, my name is Zipoza Kishlobo, I'm a new mom. Hi, my name is Tobek Amsebenzi, I am 23 years old. I have a seven-year-old child and I have a small business online uh, clothes shorting and um, I'm also working at a call center Capita and yeah. Hi I'm Napogadi. I am a mother of two, two kids under the age of six. One is two and the other is six. The moment I found out that I am going to be a mom, there wasn't actually like a moment moment because it fits my body and as a woman you kind of know these things so when you miss your period um and you've got the menstruation symptoms without the blood you kind of put two and two together so i kind of knew that i was pregnant you know i was feeling weird um i just i i, I didn't have appetite um i drink quite a bit and i didn't want to drink at all I was like, hmm, something is fishy. And then when my period came and I missed it, then I was like, mm, yeah, I think I'm pregnant. And then I bought a test. Um, and then I actually tested when I was at work. <laughs> I tested when I was at work. And um, yeah, just as I thought, I was pregnant. And I was, I wasn't shocked, but I was, uh just it, it, it was weird it was it was just a weird feeling okay, this is in my early 20s and um obviously i had um not paid attention to the fact that i had um certain symptoms um that were appearing and occurring um, after some time, I decided, you know what, let me go check myself out at the doctor. And the doctor confirmed that I was with child. So the first time I found out I was pregnant, I was 18. And me and my friend, we stole our parents' credentials to go and open a Virgin Active account. Uh, so when we came from the fitting room, she was like, I think I like your body, but then there's something about your stomach. It looks so nicely round. Do you think there could be something there? And I was like, no, I think I'm just, you know, getting fat. And then um, after two weeks, my sister wrote me a note before she went to work. And I think it was around 6 a.m. And I remember the note was like, you are pregnant. We've been observing you, me and my husband. But then mom and dad, they already know. There's no need to worry. Then I cried because I was shocked. I thought I was just getting fat and then my dad gave me a call and it was like, you know what, we already know, so it's okay, you can come home. Um, I had pains the night before, like horrible back pains. I didn't know I was pregnant. Like, so we then went to the doctor, we went to the doctor. Doctor does a pregnancy, pregnancy test as per usual, just to check and no, as a normal checkup, you're like, okay, fine. We go get the do the tests. Okay, fine. We go into the doctor's room and the doctor is excited. Then she says, Oh, congratulations, you're pregnant, right? And I'm like, what? <laughs> She's like, when was your last period? I'm like, I explained when was my last period. Oh, wait for it. I was like four months pregnant. I was like, far ahead. <laughs> So I didn't even know I was pregnant, so I was far ahead. Okay, fine. 
the doctor is like, you're pregnant, right? I'm thinking maybe a month pregnant or less, right? Okay, so she's like, let's go to the scan and check what's going on, right? So, because she couldn't predict when exactly the baby was, because whatever. So then she's there checking the sonar and there's a head, a whole entire head. You can see the head there on the sonar and I'm just like, oh my gosh, there is a living, breathing human being inside of me. So the first time I found out that I was pregnant, I was eight months old, right? So, and then I was 16 years old, mind you, I was very young, I was very, very young. So I always had back aches, I always had back aches. People were telling me I'm pregnant, took the pregnancy test, and there was no, it, it was saying I'm not pregnant, right? So I come back home and I keep complaining to my mother saying, hey, I have this back ache, like it hurts every time, like I can't stand more than two minutes. So that happens, and then one day we, we go to a doctor, on a Saturday we go to a doctor. When I go inside, um, I keep telling him that I have a back, uh, the, the back ache. They're like, okay, first go pee, which I don't know why they always ask you to pee. <laughs> they say go and pee, and then I go to the bathroom, I pee. Um, they test and they say, come with me. The doctor say, come with me. I go, she's like, do you want to tell me anything? Because I'm with my mother then inside the consultation room. And I'm like, no, I don't wanna, like there's nothing to tell cause there's nothing wrong with me. And she's like, okay. And then we go back inside. And then she's like, well, you're pregnant. And I was like, okay. Me at that time, I'm young and I have, there was no feelings whatsoever. I was like, oh, okay. My mother at the background, she's crying. I'm like, okay, I'm pregnant. I have to be two weeks or three months or something. In my head, I'm thinking I'm, I'm still early stages. Um, and then she's saying we must go to another room to go do a scan. I go to the other room and then they scan. They're telling me that the baby's too big, that this baby is, is not at three months. Like it's not a fetus. And I'm like, what the hell is she? And then the doctor was like, okay, you need to go to, to, um, to, to go book an appointment to do your, your checkups. I don't even know what they're called. So I quickly go there and do my checkups. Um, I find out that I am eight months pregnant. I don't know, my baby father doesn't know. Uh, like, it, it was just crazy. Um, yeah, so that's how I found out. And I had no feelings, actually. To be honest, I, I, I didn't even know what the hell I was doing. Like, how can I become pregnant? Not me. There's no way I can become pregnant. <laughs> exactly, so yeah, that's just how, that's, that's how I found out. So the moment I found out that I was pregnant, um, it, was, it was a moment of happiness and relief. Um, with my first pregnancy, I was 22 years old. Um, and it was a scary moment because I was young, but at the same time, it was a planned pregnancy. So it was exciting um, to sort of feel that, okay, I think we've hit the nail on the mark with this one. Um, I remember feeling um, anxious to find out if, you know, the, the, the pregnancy actually took. Um, I think it's a different journey when you are planning a baby um, than when, you know, you get blessed with one um, unexpectedly. When you're planning, you go through moments of, you know, checking constantly. Um, it's less about running to the shop and, you know, oh, let me get a few tests it's it's you you probably have a bathroom full of pregnancy tests of different variations um, so the moment I found you know I was nauseous I was tired um, I was sleeping a lot I was like hey maybe maybe these are signs of something um, that we've been trying for um, so when I eventually took the test um, my husband was literally standing outside the bathroom waiting for the results and I took the first one with the pluses and minuses and I was like okay I don't I don't get what's happening here let me take one of the ones that actually say you are pregnant um, and I took one of those and it said you're pregnant you know and it even had like a plus two weeks um, type of thing so it was it was a happy moment okay that was I think very interesting um, I was out with my boyfriend uh, the father of my child at the time and then we were breaking up 
Like we had this very cheesy dinner where we were having a breakup dinner um, at Ocean Basket. And then while we were having the dinner, I was not feeling well and I went to the loo and I vomited. So I come back to the table and we like jokingly saying, um, imagine if you're pregnant. And it was like this joke that we were joking about. And my boyfriend has decided, you know what, just in case, take a pregnancy test. And you're like, yeah, this is like at eight at night. Um, clicks closed around nine in, in Sunningdale at that time. So we go, we go to the, so I test and I found out I'm pregnant. I was not prepared for that. Um, I was a career woman very much at that time. And I didn't plan the pregnancy. I was breaking up, so it didn't make sense. But maybe 10, no, 10% is a lot. Maybe 5% of me was excited, but then my, that excitement was quickly, you know, my, my bubble was bust when he didn't want a child. And he was very honest about that, like he didn't want a child, sort of like telling me straight up to have an abortion. So then, yeah, I had to, yeah, it was, it was, yeah, it was very complicated how I found out I was pregnant, yeah.